This is an explanation of what we call the logical approach for OKR hierarchy building. Now, the trick here is to keep the framework as simple as possible, but robust, so it covers every possible strategic element. So think of taking your strategy statement, which probably has a bunch of pillars in this example. Each one of those pillars is an objective, right? And we should be describing what is the desired outcome. Once we figure that out, then we need to say, what is the lagging measure? What would we see more of or less of as we achieved that desired outcome? The lagging measure. Then we need to figure out as a second step, what are the leading key results? What would you see more of or less of as you're working towards achieving that objective? That's a repeating structure. Now for the leading key results, you now need to figure out and explain how we're gonna get there. And so from there, you might have some initiatives. What are projects that you're going to work on or initiatives that are needed to achieve that objective? And of course, that initiative is going to deliver on those leading key results, which in turn will lead on the objective. Or you may have sub-objectives. If you have a sub-objective, guess what? It also has lagging key results, leading key results, and possibly initiatives. So this becomes kind of a repeating structure. What's the lagging key result? What's the leading key result? Then explaining how we're going to get there. And that is a repeatable structure that we'll use in every single instance. Let's take a practical example from healthcare. Let's say one of those pillars are about providing exceptional care. So as an objective, we're going to write down, ensure, right, verb, outcome, exceptional care. A lagging key result might be something like percentage of readmissions, and our goal is to decrease from 15% down to 10% in this particular quarter. Leading key results, what would I see more of or less of as we move towards that lagging result? Let's say percentage of safety of care score, and we want to increase that from 80 up to 85%. Now, to achieve that percentage of safety of care score improvement, we might have an initiative. Let's say implement evidence-based practices. So that is an initiative that's going to lead towards that key result, which in turn will lead us towards the ultimate objective. For this example, let's have a sub-objective, improve safety of care. Lag or lagging key result is percentage safety of care issues. And our goal there is a different target to stay below 5% uh, safety of care issues. The leading key result is number of hours of employee training and we want to stay above 25 hours per employee. And then the initiative here might be something like develop safety standard operating procedures. Again, what we're doing is illustrating that, that lagging leading framework, and then how we build that out with initiatives and sub objectives to give us a more holistic view of what we're going to get done in order to achieve that overall objective, ensure exceptional care.